Let's get on to our Wednesday wrangle now, and we're joined by Tim Stor, uh, by Liz Storer and uh, Justin Smith. Uh, thanks for jo joining us again, guys. Uh, Liz, I wanted to kick Hi, off mate. on this issue out of Victoria. Get your thoughts on it. Where we had a music festival on the weekend, Somersault, it was called, down on Mornington Peninsula. Uh, yeah, great that people are out to, able to get out and about and have a bit of a dance at a music festival. But this is happening when the Anzac Day march has already been cancelled. Have we got our priorities the wrong way around? Chris, this is literally a national disgrace. Shouldn't have been cancelled last year. It certainly shouldn't have been cancelled this year. This is the same state that bent over backwards in recent times to still manage to host thousands upon thousands at the Australian Open. There's also the music festival, which you just raised, you know, as we speak. And yet we're a month away from the Anzac Day March and these guys go, what? why cancel it? That's my question. You can ask everyone to social distance. You can tell everyone to triple mask. Knock yourself out. But why cancel it? And what does this say to our military, both past and present, that we will make all these allowances for other events, but not for Anzac Day? Those events, and I'm sure every you know Aussie out there would agree with me, are entirely insignificant in comparison to the importance of honouring the men and women who paid the ultimate price and still do on a daily basis to keep this nation free and sovereign. And yet this is the event that gets cancelled in that socialist state of Victoria. It's a national disgrace. It's hard to disagree with that, uh, Justin, isn't it? Because uh, it's voluntary to go along to the Anzac Day march. You can have special conditions and spacing. Yep. They seem to have been pretty eager to cancel it. And, and, and I might point out too, uh, well, I agree with all of that, Liz, uh, but it's, uh, it's a march. And in a march, you can walk in an orderly fashion. I mean, I, I'm not trying to be funny about it, but you can actually say you need to keep this distance and you need to do that. That's the nature uh, of a march. I, look, I just think it's ridiculous. Looks like the, R the RSL seem to have been behind... The RSL in Victoria seem to have been behind cancelling it. I, I think it's probably this year and in the last few years, it's never actually been more important. The post-traumatic stress disorder, the mental health, the suicides that we have seen from people that have returned from overseas has been extraordinary. And these marches are incredibly important to show them that them that we love them, show them that we support them and that we're behind them. I think, I think it's ridiculous, and Liz is so right, I've said it many times myself, the, to have the Australian Open, I'm so ticked off that we had the Australian Open because... You weren't one of the so members of the crowd businesses... booing, were you? No, 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 I booted home from it for a few times, though, I might point out. I, I was outraged that we had the Australian Open because we... We've given up so much, so many people had to go through so much and we had businesses closing down, all the pain of it and yet, oh, for God's sake, let us hit a tennis ball around. I think it's ridiculous. So I, and why we have cancelled Anzac Day a month out? If, if by chance there had been a concern a couple of days beforehand and we said, look, it is just too, too volatile, we can't oh, yeah. have it, you could I'd almost look at it the other way around it. it. But, I'd look at it the other yeah, way around. I, it's I great, it, it's great it, that they had the tennis, but they should have the Anzac Day march as well. I think it bears mentioning, Chris, that one is obviously a, a money earner and the other one isn't. Mm. And that, yeah. again, just speaks yep. to the national yep. disgrace here. Hey, Justin, uh, tell us well, about uh, the vaccine yeah. rollout. Uh, we all want people to have confidence in that. Overdoses in Queensland doesn't help. No, it doesn't help at all. When someone's shoving four times the amount they need into your arm, it doesn't help uh, at all. I mean... I think we're still trying to piece together, aren't we, exactly what uh, went wrong here. And there is talk that the doctor hadn't received uh, adequate training. I, uh, I didn't go to medical school, but I would imagine uh, that would have been adequate tra training for a start to question the amount of a dose. But uh, anyway, we did, no, we didn't need it because we're trying, to, trying like hell to convince people that it's the right thing to do. Shocking Spending blunder. Spending a fortune on it too, Shocking I might blunder. Add. Yeah, terrible Indeed. blunder. Yeah. Hey, Liz, are you a Simpsons fan? Uh, no, we weren't allowed to watch it growing up. <laughs> All right. Well, oh, stay what? tuned. Let me educate you then. I want to show you a little I snippet. Uh, you. I want to show you a little snippet of a Simpsons character called uh, Dr. Hibbert. He's an Af African-American doctor. Have a look. But I've had thousands of head x-rays. How come no one ever noticed it before? Oh, well, I can answer that. You see, whenever I pick up an x-ray, I always hold it like this. 
My thumb must have covered up the crayon every time. <laughs> I'll show myself out. Now, there's Dr. Hibbert. Now, as you can see from this newspaper article, his, his voice is by voice actor Harry Shearer. Harry Shearer do has done more than 100 voices for The Simpsons, 20 regular characters, but now they've decided that he can no longer do Dr. Hibbert's voice because Harry Shearer is white and Dr. Hibbert is African-American. It's uh, an another one of these weird decisions uh, and political correctness gone mad. And to help put it into context... Here's Harry Shearer speaking about these issues more broadly a couple of years ago uh, in the UK, I think. Have a listen to Harry Shearer. I think there's a real basic point to be made here. Every time an actor plays a part, or actor, male or female, plays a part, they are playing somebody they're not. So if you apply that rule strictly, uh, we're, we're out of a, really out of a job, uh, ultimately, because... Most of the, well, everybody we're playing is somebody we're not. Uh, that's sort of the nature of the game. That's how simple as it is, isn't it, Liz? It's acting. You're pretending to be someone. Yeah, and what an utterly ridiculous move by the work brigade here, Chris. They're literally firing a white guy who's voiced this character for over 30 years. Fox <laughs> fired him for being white. Let's face it, that's why he no longer has this role. And it bears mentioning, again, speaking to the irony, Bart Simpson's character is voiced by a woman. Of but, course, of course, it of doesn't course. matter because... Bart's, Bart's character is a white male. So as long as it's only white males being uh, fired, white males being voiced by a woman, it really doesn't matter. Hollywood is turning itself inside out at the moment. Uh, that was literally announced. This guy being stepped down from that role was announced the day after. They came out announcing that a black actress, uh, Jody, I forget her last name, will be playing Anne Boylin in a uh, miniseries coming up. Now, you and I both know Anne Boylin was very white. She was very English. But see, it doesn't matter. As long as it's white people being deplatformed, it's perfectly fine. Same goes for Netflix's new massive show, Bridgerton. The Queen of England is cast as being a black woman. And this is a period drama. So we yeah. all know that simply didn't happen. But it doesn't matter if it's historically fact actually completely and yeah. utterly ridiculously incorrect as long as we're getting black right. actresses it, black it's only the, it's only the one way is it? Um, Justin I think Kate Blanchett played Bob Dylan at one stage didn't she that was okay <laughs> did, did a really good job did a great job doing Bob uh, first of all can I just check to see if Dr Hibbert actually works for the Queensland Health Department <laughs> uh, by any chance with his use of the x-ray there just we might just do a quick fact check on this and I'll just get straight to the point. I think it's absolutely stupid that they ditched Harry Shearer from that role. It, it is not like it was a, a particularly... Well, it wasn't at all a racist kind of part that was slinging off at black people and making fun, making them look like buffoons. And you, would, you would sort of say, yes, look, this is a bit much. That's not what was going on. I, th I just think it's, it's crazy. And it's one well, of those it, things it that takes nuts. away from having proper debate. Sure yeah, does. So Thanks for joining us, Justin. Liz, appreciate it. Wednesday Wrangle with Justin Smith Thanks, and Liz Stora.